another day another video we are gonna be doing an art video again today okay so on Instagram I posted this painting and it was like a final project for one of my studio classes and a friend of mine wanted to know how I did it so that's what this week's video is gonna be about okay so for starters you're gonna need some Stonehenge paper this is a large amount so I'm gonna make it smaller Okay, I think this is a decent, <laughs> a decent amount to start off with. Okay, so you're going to need a sketchbook. It doesn't have to be this big. It can be pretty much any size. <laughs> You'll also need a carbon pencil, brushes. You're going to need some opaque watercolors. This is the brand I have. And you're going to need some tracing paper. Okay, so I would start off by drawing a skull because skulls and plants were like a big subject matter for the thing. So we're going to start off by drawing a skull. You can put shading kind of wherever. I'm going to have it on this side. And we're going to fill these in black, but that's not really important right now. And now what you're going to do is you're going to transfer it onto the page there and you be sure to put it on with the be sure to trace it with the carbon pencil what are you doing okay and be sure to trace it with the carbon pencil so now that you have it traced you're going to put it on to the opposite side of the page so if it's like this on this side you're going to want to put it down Onto like this side because it's going to be flipped when you put it down. Also, when you transfer it onto the page, make sure you are doing it with the carbon side or with a carbon pencil. So that way, when you flip it and make it symmetrical, it will. That way, you can transfer it both sides. Okay, and then when you've traced it on, transferred it onto the paper, do it to the other side of the paper. And when you have it onto the paper, kind of go over it again and be sure to fill in the eyes and such. Okay, so now that we have our little skull boys, um, we're gonna do a little plant sketch. And we're just gonna draw a simple flower. And then just kind of make it look fuller, just kind of go back in and do that. And now we're going to repeat the process that we did with this one. Okay, so we got our flowers onto here and I'm thinking about maybe doing it one more time, like right there. Or maybe just doing it a few more times. The purpose of the tracing method is so if you want to repeat the design, you can and you can do it very easily. Okay, so for this next part, we're gonna have to go to my desk for basically whatever the path is just kind of Make whatever path you want and You're going to create the illusion of volume by doing this and then You're gonna go back in and you're going to add some linear shading to the edges and try to go in the direction of the curve that you made and you're gonna do that all throughout the piece.
everything all shaded. Um, I also forgot to mention you should probably make a note to kind of close up and basically like get the borders and stuff so that way it looks like it opens and it closes and that it's affected by the paper. That's optional but that's what I did. And now we're going to do the watercolor part. What we're going to do is we're going to do a light wash over all in the flowers and then we're going to build upon that to our desired opacity and we're going to shade it with watercolor as well. So kind of do a light wash and here's why you have to use carbon as opposed to pencil because carbon is n pretty much like waterproof. It, it is hardly affected by the watercolor and that's why you want to use carbon not pencil if you're doing something like this and I think I'm gonna color these in black and make this red and I'm thinking about maybe making the background blue Okay, so here's where we are in terms of the painting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back in with the colors that we used and put it over the areas that we want shaded. So we're going to go back in with like the dark yellow and just put it here and with the blue we're just going to go back in and put it here. And I don't think I'm going to touch the flowers any more than I have already have. part of the shadows done now we need to just use only water to like smooth it out and you're gonna want to go along with the line that you made here and throughout the piece blend it out make sure you don't have any harsh lines like right here and a way to get rid of that is just well to try and get rid of that 
it's not always 100% foolproof, but the way to do that is just do this, then kind of go back in and do that. It'll reduce the harshness that's there. done with this we're gonna do some cleaning up here and there as some of the blue has gotten into the red and into the green so that's what we're gonna do now and I think that will be it here is our final result I think I did pretty well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found it helpful I will probably do a separate video on how to paint those Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Katie Ross signing off.